My name is Jacob Gobes and I'm going to be playing uh, Raoul Vicomte de Shungi. Um, so he is the romantic character, I guess, of Phantom of the Opera. So he comes in as the opera's new um, patron and uh, falls in love with Christine, who becomes one of the lead singers as well in the show. So yeah, that's my role throughout the show and he eventually, well I won't spoil the ending of the show, but Yes, he definitely comes and rescues Christine at some point. Oh, yeah. that's lovely, the knight in shining armour. Yes. <laughs> How have you been finding playing role in Phantom? Yeah, really challenging, actually. Um, it was a much harder role than I was expecting. Um, in some respects, it's quite similar to Marius, which I played before in Les Mis, you know, being the romantic um, sort of male lead in the show. Um, but then it's, uh, I think it's got a lot, some much stronger characters, uh, characteristics to his character as well. Um, and then, yeah, the music itself has been very technically challenging. Um, Phantom has probably been one of the hardest musically um, difficult shows that I've ever done um, with some really tricky stuff that Andrew Lloyd Webber has put into the score. So um, I think RMU has been doing an excellent job of pulling off such a tricky score, um, which is normally done professional only. So, yeah. That's brilliant. So you'd be quite familiar to Rockhampton audiences now. What other roles have you played in the past? Yeah, so um, I was in Kinky Boots earlier this year um, and played one of the drag queens in that, which was quite new, um, quite different to role. Um, I've also played Lord Farquaad last year in Shrek, again, quite different to this role. Um, and also Galileo Figaro in We Will Rock You, um, and then before that, Marius in Les Mis. And that's only over the course of, say, two or three years, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, in the last two years, so all those ones in the last two years, yeah. yeah. So how do you feel about performing in Rockhampton? Um, I think it's fantastic, yeah. I, I love performing in the musicals here. Um, I, I studied in Brisbane for, um, you know, for pharmacy, completely separate for four years, and came back to Rockhampton, and it was one of the things I was most looking forward to about coming back to Rockhampton was getting to be a part of the amazing musical theatre community which we have here. Um, I think, from what I hear, Rockhampton has got a spectacular... Um, amount of talent in such a regional town um, and the uh, council give us so much opportunities and funding to do these fantastic shows um, and Rockhampton Musical Union do such amazing jobs of taking on these humongous tasks, these huge musicals like Les Mis and Phantom of the Opera which are really just so challenging and to put them on in a regional setting is uh, it's so exciting to be a part of and it's, it's such an honour to actually get to do these musicals. Fantastic. So what can Rockhampton audiences look forward to in Phantom? Well, um, I think you're going to hear some epic singing, that is for sure. Um, I think uh, Phantom is very well known for its very difficult, high, large, operatic type singing. Um, and I think uh, the audiences will also be very wowed by the costumes and sets which are going on with Phantom as well. So we've definitely got a large chandelier which has its own role in the show as well. Um, we've got, um, you know, we've got our moving boat, we've got everything in there and there's a lot of stage trickery that's going on with the brilliant work from uh, Ross James and the um, brilliant costume ladies who've pulled together uh, dozens, well, not even dozens, it would be well over a hundred costumes for our um, cast of about 60. So a cast of about 60 who've got several costumes each, it'd be well over 200 costumes actually. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So um, you're working with directors Joy Philippi and Grant Wolf Whitfield. Mm. Now Grant is absolutely no stranger to Phantom, yeah. um, and he's the local boy comeback. So what's it like working with someone who's had that professional experience, not just in the industry but on this show? Yeah, it's fascinating. It's really interesting having that insight from somebody who's done, I think it's something like 800 shows of Phantom over two years um, in a professional setting, and he he played. Uh, several different roles or understudied even several different roles he understudied my role as well as role so that's been brilliant having his insight from a professional standpoint and um, Joy is a brilliant director as well to have there she's done several shows with us I've worked with her several times and she really is brilliant to work with she has such a good vision and knows how to bring it together quite well um, and then Grant's just brought in he you know chime in with extra tidbits and facts and trivia from the original show and really adds to this professionalism which Rockhampton, um, the Rockhampton community is used to seeing professionalism from their community shows so yeah it's been great. Um.